Hey guys, it's Pauline. I have a couple of orders that came in, and so I thought that I would share them with you. Um, both, no, this one uh, pen here I got from uh, Amazon. It is not, I think it's a Mahjong, so it's not like a brand name. Um, so let's see. Let's see if it tells me what it is. Uh, no, but it looked uh, really interesting. Um, I think I paid thirty dollars for it. Um, but I think it's. I think this is the one that um that put me in the mind of a um Pilot Custom Eight Two Three. But we'll have to see if that's what this is. Yeah. So, I was curious about this one. So, let's see. All right, there's nothing we can read on that. All right, so... They do have instructions. So it is, is that vacuum? Yeah. So, all right. So this is the copy. Let me show you what my Pilot Custom 823, this is the real one. Look at that really really similar it's kind of neat so so this one is the real pilot i love this pen it is uh one of my top three pens you would not um guess which is my number one uh but anyway um, and then this is a copy. I believe it's a Mahjong, but I can't read the writing that's on there because I, um, I just can't. <laughs> Let's see. But look how similar that is. I mean, it's like they took the pen and just studied it side by side. I mean, even the bands are in the same place, just everything. It's just that this one has a more like pelican style clip. And then that's the pilot. Okay, so let's take this off and look at the nib itself. And then let's see what my pilot looks like. Really, really close. Very interesting. So, that's that one. I'm not going to ink it up. But, I just thought I would share. But that is really, really close. And like I said, that comes from Amazon. And I will try to link it below. How interesting. All right, so that's that one. And then, um, so Atlas had a sale, which they have sales all the time. But I think that was uh, take an extra, like 15% off. But I'm thinking neither one of these uh, things uh, qualify for that. I got two pens. I didn't mean to buy the one. I put one of them in my um, basket just to see if it was going to take the extra 15% off, which it didn't. But... I didn't mean to hit purchase. 
um, and so the purchase went through. And so I tried to get them to stop it and cancel it. I mean, um, like five minutes after um, it went through, I emailed them and said, hey, uh, cancel that. <laughs> but um, they emailed me the next day and said that they couldn't because it was already being processed. And that they said that I'm, you know, welcome to send it back. But there's a problem once I have it in my hot little hands. Because it was a pretty good price. Um, we'll see if I'm going to have the will to send it back. So, um, this one is the one that I actually wanted to buy. So, we'll take a look at it first. Because this one was much cheaper. Um, this was on that last chance. So, it's a Bennu. You get um, a cartridge. And so this one, I can get it out of here. There we go. So this one is a Mickey Mouse. I wasn't even sure if I really, really wanted this, but it was, um, it was a really good price. And I love Mickey Mouse. And it's cute. Had I seen this in person before I bought it, I probably wouldn't have. I, I'm not unhappy that I got it, but I don't know. It's, it's not wowing me, but um, I believe I'm going to keep it. But I probably won't. It won't be precious to me. You know what I mean? All right. So, very cute. It has that reflective thing going on. I know there's a name for that, but then I keep forgetting what that name is. All right. That's what it looks like from the bottom. And then we have like um, this pearlescence type thing going on here. I love Bennu pens. And they usually, um, you can keep them inked up for a long time. And they still perform. I love them. Even though they're just gorgeous. They don't make boring pens. That's for sure. So we got that frosting going on all over the place. It reminds me of winter. Okay. Okay, that's what our nib looks like. Okay. Let me put that back on there. And then a lot of people want to know how many turns it takes. So, let's see. One. Two. Two and a half. Okay. It's kind of a lot. But whatever. All right. So then that is the pen that I actually meant to buy. I want to say by the time you got through with all the discounts that, that, that this came down to like $75. All right. And the name of this one is Steamboat Master. And this is a fine nib. Okay. So let's put that one to the side. And then this one... <laughs> It's the one I accidentally bought, and but this one is probably the one um, that I'm actually going to be more excited about. All right, so let's take a look. Pilot, I love Pilot pens. I love them. All right, because um, I'm one of those people that likes smooth writers, 
you know some people like feedback i don't i like feedback a little but um the best pens to me are really really smooth okay love the presentation okay now this one is a little bit different so it is a pilot uh custom 823 which is one of my top favorite pens And it comes in a nice case but this one is a little bit different because it has a demonstrator bottle I probably shouldn't take it out oh I didn't know it was gonna be encased in this who am I kidding I'm not sending it back <laughs> because this was a really good price and I love custom um, 823s And this is what I was afraid of. Once I once I get it in my hands, I wasn't gonna send it back. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And so again, let me look at the uh, the imitation. Look at it. They did a good job with the imitation. Now the writing experience I can't speak to yet. But okay. And so let's take a look at this one. So, the, the finial is black, and let's see, the grip part is black, and you have, I don't know what you call that part, but it's black, but then the rest of the body is pretty much clear until you get to the end. You got it's gold accented. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love this pen anyway. Okay. And then let's see if we can see the branding. I can't see that, but I'll just show you. Very, very, very nice. And the barrel is smooth. It looks like it might be ridged, but it's not. It's smooth. We'll look at the nib. Very nice. Let me see, did I get this in fine? Nope, I took a chance and got it in medium which um, pilots medium uh, tend to run toward fine anyway. I love a fine, but then with like pens that you want to do, um, like long writing um, sessions and that you're not just scribbling in a planner, but you're actually writing, um, like you might write in a journal or something, I've been trying to go more towards medium. So that's why I picked this. Because this might be something I would, you know, pick up to write with uh, um, in a journal. Super smooth. I love to hear that vacuum. And I have, like I said, the, the original um, Custom 823. And you can leave it inked up for a long time. Time. and it every time you pick it up it will write it's I, I love them and it writes like you writing on glass all right so I love that and then you get a full bottle of ink what color is this it's just blue nothing fancy just blue which I probably wouldn't put blue in this I'd put something something neat so you can see it swirling around in there. I mean, that's the point, right? All right. So, 
since I said that um, this is not, at one point, this was my number one pan. It has been moved down a couple of pegs. So you will not believe what is my number one pan. So I have um, a Mont Blanc pen. This is the classic. This is only number two. <laughs> so my number one pen, and this is all just my opinion, of course, is this. It is the Pilot Justice 95. I don't hear people talking about this. I don't see um, videos about it. I ran a on this pen um through ebay and um i was just looking at pilots on ebay and this one was like it was drastically reduced i want to say um it was like you know how they have it like 500 dollars or whatever slashed through and then they had it i want to say i paid under 200 dollars for it and it writes like butter it is it is just it is the best writing pen I have, in my opinion. So for me, this is number one. This is number two. And then the custom 823 is number three, which used to be number one for me. All right. So that's just my opinion. But this is a Justice um, 95. It is my favorite pen in my collection. So it's supposed to, you're supposed to be able to turn the dial and make it softer or harder um, so you can make those broad strokes and all that, the, the flexing of the nib. Um, I don't do all that, so um, that doesn't matter to me, but I do like the writing experience. It's just, it's like writing on glass. It's beautiful. But anyway, um, that is what I had to share today, guys. And um, I'm really happy with this is you, you just have to keep remembering that this is the fake. Oh, not fake, but this is I think it's a moon man. I'm not sure. Um, that is the copy. And then our Mickey Mouse pin. All right. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.